This place is great, really comfortable. I'm just going to get settled in. Time to move on, get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously Definitely more my style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right, it wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited, really. I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly... It certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life. Just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent-a-clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister.
I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seemed to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Yeah, well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. Who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> it's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy, if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Pass off! What was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. You got this floor? Sure. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. That was the boss lady, only this time she wasn't calling for more liquor in her cocktail.
I didn't need a translator to know what these were. It wasn't the time, and I was still a little rusty. But the tune was coming together. Just as this new start of mine was about to come to a shuddering halt. She was out on one of the balconies, and I hoped not about to be thrown off it. It might have been stupidity or drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Tranquila! Tranquila! Nós cuidamos disso! Nice work! Now you need a hand? No, you? Where the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle. Olha agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. What have you done with him? I say so. I had to move. Looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. Once I opened the door, I'd actually have to come up with a plan.
great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Você acha que é falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão! Continua dando multas. Não põe o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos! Me ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância! Me ajuda. Me fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home, too. Come on. Time for some R and R. The only way I knew how. I was ready for bed. <laughs> A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get to do a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. <laughs> you were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm. Spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up where people went missing. Well, it's horrifying. Can someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding. But it is a cool town, man. <laughs> hey, here we are. I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. Fucking monkey from a fucking slum. He acts cool with me. What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What do you fucking do it, man? About what? What do you do about life? Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit, people. Fuck them, people get me wrong. <sighs> I, think, I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, oh, oh. Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one.
hadn't seen it coming, but that was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. I knew if I didn't get to the girls soon, the doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for Beginner's phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. Another way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. It was your typical trendy hellhole. A playground for the overpreened and undernourished. Sushi and house music and vodka. A place you don't get through the door unless you're rich, beautiful, or in this instance, it seemed, a heavily armed psychopath. Poor bastard's name was Claudio. I found out later he was a pretty big shot soccer player for the Galatians, some nearly superstar just back from Europe. The usual, scored goals, scored girls. The only box he'd be getting into now was the one he'd be leaving in. I remembered there was a patio upstairs. About the only thing I'd managed to clock in that place was the smoking area. It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find Got the girls. Got Got him. They, they came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. You can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Son of a bitch. <laughs> This unfinished business, and all I could think about was my unfinished scotch. Ah, 
Don't shoot, por favor. You an American? Sure. Yeah, I'm from Steele, North Dakota, just outside of Bismarck. Anders Stetling. This is some place, huh? They, they told me it was a little fresh, but I wasn't expecting things to be quite like this. No? No, oh, see, I've, I've seen things. I was a cop for 25 years. I've seen men run over by combines. I've seen husbands who just ate their wives, but a gunfight at a disco? You were a cop? Yeah, just retired. Oh, what a life that was. And it gave me the money to raise a family. Oh, I got a girl at college in Wisconsin and a boy who's playing football for Minnesota State. You want to see their picture? No, no, that's all right. Oh. Sounds nice. Listen, you stay in here. Don't be a hero. Oh, I won't. I'm retired. Happy, healthy ex-cop? Give me a break. It looked loud and expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye, and maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. Still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. This wasn't the time to be second-guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a better class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. All I said! Come on, come on! Jesus, Max, I can't leave you alone for five minutes! What the hell happened in there? They jumped us! Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls. Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oi, oh, oh, there they are. Quick, get after them. Are you crazy? You can't just leave her. Max, you gotta do something. Come on, get the rifle back there.
Goddamn army of these goons. Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco security team consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did.
mais ruioso, ela não vale a pena. Temos a mulher do branco. Foi por isso que viemos aqui. O Serrano mandou. on Giovanna still being alive were getting worse by the second, and if Fabiana wasn't dead already, I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god-awful performance review. This was a mess. Where the hell was Passos? We were two failed cops failing miserably at being bodyguards. He approached... It was Giovanna's necklace. I had to hope the rest of her was still intact. What do I look all right? Right? Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Passos, where is he? Is he okay? I had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my God. It's Raul! Giovanna! Oh! What the hell are you doing? Giovanna! <laughs> hey! No, nothing. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Passos was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too. What choice do we have? We have never paid out ransoms before. 
But I don't know. I don't like the feeling of this. What about you, Max? I don't know. I, I'm no expert on hostage negotiations. I, I know people who are, but they're in America. We don't have time for America. I know you're right, Marcelo. It's not like I don't have the money to pay. Father made a lot of money. We have always been targets. We all know that. But much as it pains me, I don't see we have a choice. Maybe after we pay, we find out who did it. We have them... But we all know what I'm saying. Who do you think is targeting your family? Haters. Who can say? Life in this country is not easy, you can see that. I have tried to do business the right way, but that's not always possible. Of course I made enemies, but I've also paid a lot of bribes. I have no idea. It's probably that street gang trying to get a me. I don't know. People I know have tried to reach out to this group. Commando Sombra. They're not from any of the favelas around here. They're linked to the drug business. Now, what have I got to do with drugs? Nothing. Everybody loves money. I just want right. my wife back. <clears throat> we can take the money to them. What's he saying? Open the bag, show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra, depressa. Easy, pal, easy. Vem. Apparently, someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone. And I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. They were well-armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. You okay? Yeah. All right. Let's go. There's got to be a first aid kit around here somewhere. I've been shot more times than I could remember. But this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message, trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I just severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way, I was failing fast. Shit! At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. Oh, move it, man, move it! The guy with the bag must have got hit. He's bleeding all over the place. He's not the only one. Come on, I think he went this way. So this was it. My easy retirement money. My blood-stained 401k. A chance to drink for free while chaperoning socialites around town and making sure the poor people didn't get too close. The brochure sure didn't mention any of this shit. Pull it together, Max. Let's go. See there, Grandpa.
Come on. I'm getting flashbacks to that wedding we worked in Aruba. Yeah, back to the good old days when I thought I might actually like this job. <sighs> Dumb sport. <sighs> hey, careful, my friend. That's blasphemy in this town. <clears throat> you okay, bro? Never better. Whose idea was this, anyway? Yeah, I wonder. Uh, uh, Is it bad? Uh, could be a lot worse. Here. Thank you. Uh, right. Mm. Here we go. Put the sleeve on, come on. Uh, All right, don't be a pussy. So what now? We make sure that the right clowns get the money. Who the hell do you think that was? It tried to gate crash our little wine and cheese party. I have no idea. This is Sao Paulo, brother. Could be anyone. Uh, anyone with access to high-powered sniper rifles and trained killers. That's pretty much everyone. Great. <sighs> so what now, Einstein? Well, I guess we get these Comando Sombra their money and make sure they know we did not try to trick them otherwise. Fabiana, she won't come back in such good shape. Come on, come on. Sao Paulo lived and died this game. That day, more. Você está em uma festa glamorosa e opa! Tem uma mancha vermelha na sua camisa. Felizmente existe. Dissolve. Coloque dissolve na máquina de lavar e apague os pecados de ontem. Dissolve. Como se nunca tivesse acontecido. This is INC. A star midfielder for one of Sao Paulo's most famous clubs, Galatians, was killed in a bloody shootout at a local nightclub. A witness who captured this video said there was a fight between gang members and private security forces. It is not yet known whether this was a targeted hit or if the football star was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Also in the attack, Fabiana Branco, the young wife of a prominent local businessman, Rodrigo Branco, was kidnapped. Mr. Bronco's brother, Victor, currently serves as a federal deputy in Sao Paulo and is planning to run for mayor in next year's municipal elections. A new report by a team of sociologists from the U.S. says the widening wealth gap is leading to a host of unforeseen social and psychological issues for people on both sides of the divide, including both an increase in crime and greater fear of crime, and rise in depression, drugs, and alcohol abuse across all socioeconomic groups. Meu amor, minha vida, minha Amélia, meu amor por você cresce a cada dia que essa barriguinha aumenta. Oh, Lourenço Augusto, meu amor, meu amor. Ai, Amélia, quando você fala meu nome assim, eu me derreto de amor. Ah, meu amor, meu amor. Meu Deus, Marina. Lourenço Augusto, não posso mais ver mentindo pra gente mesmo. Lourenço Augusto, quem é essa biscate? Eu me entrego todo pro amor dela. Me entrego pra Marina, ela é minha vida. O corpinho dela é um violão e desculpa, Amélia, mas eu caí no encanto dela. Eu amo ela e não mais você. É verdade. Esse corpinho lindo, cheio de curvas, tá esperando por ele. E outra, eu não sou caída, flácida e cheia de celulite que nem você, sua biscate. O que, que foi que você disse, sua Kenga? Você não é uma dama. Sou sim. Sou uma dama na cama com seu marido, uma meretriz. Sua vagabunda! Eu vou acabar com você! Ah! Morre, sua vaca! Au! 
Não, não! Separa, não! Solta! Não! Perua! Ai! Puta! Ai! 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 Eu vou dar a luz! Eu vou dar a luz! Meu nenê, Lourenço! Lourenço Augusto, meu nenê! Ai, meu Deus! Eita, pô! Esse aí não é meu filho! Meu Deus! Meu nenê é um curupira! Mr. Victor Bronco. For all his friends in high places, he had just as many enemies. Assos had done a good job with the bandage, and an even better job with the pills. I couldn't feel my arm anymore. I couldn't feel much of anything which was the way I liked it. Should have known this wouldn't end well. Uh, didn't even begin well. It was hardly a textbook hostage exchange. I guess I must have skipped that class. Okay, come on. Let's go. Where the hell's he going? What do we got here? Does he have the money? No. But he might be able to tell us what the fuck is going on. Seu filho da puta! O que aconteceu lá embaixo? Quem nos atacou? Quem são os francos atiradores? Faz... Não estou pra brincadeira, filho da puta! Ah! Heads up! Here come his friends! Something tells me we're heading in the right direction. It suddenly hit me that this bloodbath was probably being recorded in HD. The Galatians would be making more than the sports pages tomorrow morning. Come on, let's move! trophies and game plans. It had been a very long time since I'd had one of either. Come on, let's move. Let's go, Max. It 
It didn't sound like we were the only ones getting shot at. Who the hell had tipped these guys off? I didn't know what to think anymore. This town had more smoke and mirrors than a strip club locker room. Nice enough. Sai, sai, vamos, vamos, pega, pega os caras, pega os caras. Were they cops? You tell me. I don't think so. I've had enough of these fools. Pega, pega, pega! different online doctors ordered. I was in need of a little performance enhancement myself. Rights, don't you think? Look at this flak jacket. This is high-end gear. These guys are seriously financed. Yeah, I noticed. I'll get you one for Christmas. Come on, let's keep moving. We've still got a sniper on us. We'll deal with him first. I only got one shoulder left. There's no time. The money will be long gone. We gotta stay on the guy with the bag. Wait. I might have written a book on dumb ideas, but Passos sure wasn't afraid to quote from it. Look out! 
Luckily for us, the blood money was still bleeding. Come on, this way. Introduce our sniping pal to something more intimate and short range. That guy was getting annoying. How the hell did they know about the exchange? This is Sampa, bro. Kind of cash doesn't stay quiet for long. And these kids are like expensive toys. Here, put this on. Have a better chance if we split up. Almost looks like we know what we're doing. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't speak too soon, brother. <laughs> looks like it's coming from the stands. <laughs> Shit, they got the guy with the bag. Stay here. Cover me. I'll go after him. Hey, keep your head set on. I'll deal with the guys on the other side of the fence. You take the other. Whatever you say. Looks like a VIP lounge or something. I'm gonna check it out. Neves vai nos matar, hein? Se a gente não voltar com dinheiro, né? Quem é a menina? Ah, alguma alpinista social aí casada com algum? Ele tá aqui! Ah!
Claudio, their golden boy. He'd sure picked the wrong party on the wrong night. Although if the past week was anything to go by, it was safe to assume any party with the Broncos in attendance was the wrong one to be at. This Hall of Fame before somebody added my face to the wall. Looks like some kind of maintenance elevator. Where are you headed? I'm going up. I don't know. I guess I'm nowhere nice. You signing the money? Nope. Just people shooting at me. Our surprise guest brought a lot of friends. All right, in the upper stands. I see you. Be careful, you got company.
Okay, I'm in. 